uh, you guys pulled within 56-50 and you had a couple break opportunities. I think both of you guys took shots in there. What, what were you trying to do? Did you rush it or what, that, was the, like that was the real opportunity for you to get back in it? Um, when you're in the flow of the game, um, you make a big play on one end of the floor defensive end and you're feeling good about yourself so you, you let one fire. I think that's kind of what it was. Um, um, but we got confidence in each other to make those types of shots. They just didn't fall. Uh, for either player, defending the three-point line, they seemed to get going early. Uh, what were maybe some of the breakdowns and, and how tough were those threes after they were they were hit at different points again? Um, we know that some of their players, um, big emphasis on the three-point line, but really away from um, Purdue away. Um, uh, they really rely heavy on their post players, so we were kind of crowding and digging deep, um, especially on Trayvon Williams, because I think he counted for 20% of their shots. And so we tried to take him out of the play and then kind of let out some shooters open. I guess just the, maybe the broader question in defense, it felt like there were spells there, like you talked about, where you, you string a few stops together, but just not enough to really take control of the game, particularly in the second half. Kind of what were they doing? Though? Wasn't allowing that, I guess. Um, really, just it was just a small defensive lapse that let a shooter open, or really just little things that really just hurt us. Um, we would string a few together, and maybe we didn't make a shot on one end, and then they got one on the other. Um, it's really hard to play uh, catch up in the second half, so uh, they did a really good job of holding the lead. For, for either of you guys, this team seems to continue to struggle with turnovers. I think eight different guys had a turnover today, 14 total. Why, why do you think? Maybe that, that hasn't clicked as, as it was early in the season. Jerome, go ahead and answer first. Uh, I just think um, we just need to slow down when we get on the court. Um, when we uh, get out there, we just need to realize it's just us and it's just another game. So we just got to be more comfortable when we get out there. Yeah, um, I agree with that. I think um, there was one segment in the first half where we had five five turnovers in a four-minute segment. So um, that's a big thing. I think after we get one, that start we start stringing them together. So we just got to keep our composure and uh, play through it. Yeah, there was a big ceremony at halftime to honor Coach Knight. Did you guys talk to him at all? Did he, did he meet with you guys? And what do you have any thoughts on him or his time here at all? Um, uh, he talked to us before the game. Uh, it was really nice talking to him, having him here. He, I mean, he's an IU legend, so I mean, it was nice. I mean, it was nice talking to him. He was talking to us, and he told us to play hard. And um, that's really it. Yeah, I agree with him. Um, he told us, came and talked to us, told us to play hard, um, which I thought we played really hard, but um, just not the outcome we wanted. But um, yeah, like Jerome said, he's a legend. Um, he's a reason why people talk about IU basketball, really. So, uh, for both you guys, do you feel effort? Did you match their effort for all 40 minutes, or maybe were there lapses there, or was it more execution as opposed to effort in your eyes? Um, Purdue played real hard. I mean, I guess I mean we played hard too, but they played harder in this game. And I mean, we just got to find a way to come back from Yeah, um, I don't think it was an effort standpoint. I think we played hard. I think we knew what was at stake, um, um, especially against a rival opponent. Um, so I don't think it was the question of playing hard. I think just mental lapses, um, leaving shooters open in that sense. Okay. Anything else for the players? All right, guys, thank you.